today i'm going to show you how to make mixed veg curry for this navratri vrat it's a very simple recipe so let's see the recipe here i have taken two potatoes three sweet potatoes and a piece of pumpkin it's actually tender pumpkin and here i have two tomatoes i'll use them for this recipe now i'll peel them off cut them and wash them very properly here you can see friends that i have cut the potatoes and sweet potatoes here i took only two sweet potatoes and one is left as you can see because it seemed so much for the ratio so i took only two and here i have cut the pumpkin and tomatoes and some green chilies and of course i washed them properly and now i put a pan on induction and turn the heat on i added some peanut oil into the pan you may take any kind of oil that you eat during your vrat there is no problem now let the oil heat well and after that we will add half teaspoon of cumin seeds to the oil and now i'll let them crackle well and after that i'll add the tomatoes first now i am adding the tomatoes with the tomatoes we'll add salt to taste i'm using rock salt for the vrat and now i'm adding half teaspoon of black pepper powder i'll mix everything properly if you don't eat cumin seeds and tomatoes during your vrat then skip it there's no problem without this you can also make this curry very delicious and now i am going to add the potatoes into the pan i'll fry the potatoes for 4 uh, to 5 minutes with the tomatoes and after 4 to 5 minutes i'll add the sweet potatoes here because different kinds of veggies have their different cooking times so now i'm adding the sweet potatoes and i'll fry for 3 to 4 minutes and after that i'll add the pumpkins i'm waiting for 3 to 4 minutes and after that i'm adding pumpkins here i'll add the green chilies along with the pumpkins and now we have to fry for some time another some time uh, about 3 to 4 minutes again and after that we'll add water for gravy now i am adding water for gravy i am adding about 2 uh, and a half cup of water here you may change the quantity according to your wish it depends on how much thick you want your gravy to be and i am adding some more water here i'll stir it properly and after that i'll cover the pan to bring a nice boil quickly Here you can see friends that the curry is boiling very nicely and now we'll stir the curry and cover the pan again and wait until the veggies are cooked very nicely. Now let's cover the pan again and wait for some time. The heat is on medium. About 20 minutes have gone and now the veggies are cooked very well. I am showing you. This is pumpkin. This is potato, and this is sweet potato. They are cooked very nicely, hundred percent. And now, I am going to follow a trick to make the gravy thick. I am removing some veggies here on a plate, and I'll mash them with my spoon this way. and here they are done as you can see i'm adding them into the curry again by this process the gravy will be thick and the curry will be very tasty you may mash them this way also but now i'm going to add some uh, roasted peanut powder here to make the gravy thick and tastier so here i am adding 2 tablespoon of roasted peanut powder simply i roasted some peanuts and cooled them down and after cooling down i grinded them into a coarse powder 
here is it and at the end of the recipe i am adding some sugar here about half teaspoon of sugar i am adding this quantity of sugar will balance the sourness of the tomatoes in the curry and bring a great taste I'll mix everything properly and I'll let it boil for another 2 minutes and after that our curry will be ready to serve. I mixed everything very nicely and now let's wait for another 2 minutes. After 2 minutes the curry is ready as you can see the gravy is thicker. Now I'll turn the heat off and after that I'll serve it. Everything is okay. Check the salt before turning the heat off and now our curry is ready. Now I am serving it. It is very delicious to eat during your broth. You may serve it with boiled sama chawal or kutu atta roti. It will be very delicious to eat and the recipe is very simple also. So try this simple recipe during your Navratri broth and let me know about your experience.